And welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Fatal Frame 3. Uh, I forgot to check my ghost list. I still only have nine ghosts, I think. Yeah, anyways. Creepiness. Our radio. It be a talking to us. Alright. Are you in the closet? closet. I can't see you again, but still let's, let's find where the sound's coming from. Miku? Is it you? Doll. Oh god. The sounds are coming from the attic. This attic room hasn't been open since you put his things here when he moved out of his parents' house. Oh, apparently there's a secret passage into the attic here. J okay. Holy crap. I kind of didn't even guess that. Ghosts? Just one more time. I want to see you again. <gasps> ah! I know I can't see you again, but still, if I could just see you once more, once more, just one more time. The chest is full of old books. They look like used old books of folklore. In among them, I have found one containing a folk legend about the tattoo. Convenient. Master and Snake. The following is bleh, the following is deeper speculation on the meaning of the tattoo design, Holly and Snake. As in the northeastern Japanese folktale, the tattoo master. Based on new research, a further change in the story was confirmed. A tattoo master number two. The girl who lost her lover goes to the mountain to confide in the master about the pain in, of her heart. Upon the girl upon hearing the girl's story, the master engraved a tattoo on the girl, because he's a jerk. After that day, the girl dreams of the man. But then she falls in love with someone else. The tattoo dream becomes a nightmare, and the tattoo aches severely. The suffering girl goes to visit the master again to see if she to see if she, bleh, again to see if she cannot remove that the tattoos. The master washes off the tattoos with water that gushes fr forth from the mountain spirit because it was a wash-on tattoo, and she didn't bathe, I guess. As she does this, the snake swims into the water and disappears deep in the spring. The meaning of the tattoo is essentially the same thing, but the end of the story is very different. Neither the girl who has her tattooed washed off, nor the master, dies. Here the, here, here the mountain and water spring properties of the snake are clearly expressed and it is likely a popularized version of the story that incorporates a happy ending. This is a very interesting legend in which all the properties of the snake appear, including mountain and water spring, envy, and pathos. Hmm. Are there any more books? Uh, there's several albums, some of them contain photos from when you and I were students together. We must have put them here when, you, when we moved in. It all seems so long ago now. You know, I never decide to, you know, remind myself of all this stuff by looking at photos. There is nothing on the shelf. I've always meant to use it for something, but use altar ended up in the altar room. Makes sense. The sounds is coming from the shelf. Inside the drawer is an old book and something wrapped in cloth. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looks like a small stone of some kind. That does not look like a stone. It looks like an earring, apparently. Could this be the earring of the person mentioned on the cassette? Kim Kim uh, Konami? Uh, Rika? Who heard the longing of the priestess? Why does he have the earring? The other world. 
insul and blah. I don't know that word off the top of my head, but um, in that test subjects from my research on dreams as the border between life and death, I w it was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seems to know of the other world. The man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as described below. Number one, he first no notices he is standing before a small st uh, snow-covered shrine. Two, he has this. He, he has seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like this in his hometown. Three. From deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of the girl he left behind. 4. Beckoning, beckoned by the voice, each day he goes a little further into the dream shrine. Um, up to this point, this this is a passable dream generating from the desire for home and love. Next is where his statements become interesting. 5. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. 6. There is a huge cave deep in the shrine, and a river flows there. There is a large pit, and the base of it is the sea. The statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld. According to his story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dreams, and much of his dreams congrues with it. With it. I recorded his talk on his dream for four days, um, compiled below. He is from the Mustu M Mutusu region, Mut Mutsu region, where they have an ancient legend about the sea called the Sea of Endless Night. The existence that exists in the mountains, sorry. There have they, bah, there they have many legends relating to dreams. For example, dreams are called the Rift and traverses the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have the nightmares, the decrease, the descent apparently returns to the underworld. The shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmare. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess that sleeps in the shrine of the other world, communicating the, um, yeah, communicating the existence of the rift. The morning after the day I recorded his testimony on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see the woman in, woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient times has been said to communicate thought. Perhaps I can use it to m modify the crystal receiver. That's kind of weird. You add it to your research. There was a reel of film underneath the books. Um, the the label reads Okotoshiya. It's pretty old. If the earring is Riku, the tattoo priestess, then I might convey her voice and emotion. The voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside that manor? You've just been there a hundred times. I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That's what Riku's, uh, uh, Rika's voice said on the radio. I... You... The random shower scene! Random raining scene! Of dead guy. <laughs> Depressing. The tattoo. <laughs> dun dun dun. You. I can talk without moving my mouth. Oh, I can move. But I need to pause for a second. When we come back, more Fatal Frame 3.